हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू माय एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर आई एम डॉक्टर शालिनी सिंह सालों के योर कंसल्टेंट फिजिशियन टुडे इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे टुडे ट्वेंटी अक्टूबर इज सेलिब्रेटेड वर्ल्ड वाइड एज वर्ल्ड ऑस्टियोपोरोसिस डे वाई ऑस्टियो मीनिंग बोन पोरोसिस मीनिंग होल दैट मीन्स बोन्स विथ होल नाउ वाई इज इट इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज सच बोन्स आर वेरी फ्रेजाइल and are at a high risk of getting fractured that means those who have osteoporosis will have high risk of developing fractures fracture is a painful condition we all know it increases our dependence on others it's a morbid situation now looking statistically worldwide every 1 out of 3 female and every 1 out of 5 male over 50 years of age are suffering from osteoporosis so osteoporosis is a common condition and it is very painful and morbid condition that is why it is decided to celebrate 20th october as world osteoporosis day so that we can increase awareness among people regarding this condition so let's start today's topic and try and understand this disease so what is osteoporosis Osteoporosis is a progressive bone disease that weakens bone and increases the risk of fracture even with trivial or minor injury injuries like minor falls bump a sneeze or a sudden movement or a jerk Now data wise in India 80% of female of more than 40 years of age and 60% of male above 60 years of age are suffering from this disease osteoporosis As we have seen females are more prone to get this disease compared to males reason is in females after menopause there is loss of hormone or reduced amount of hormone estrogen which is basically responsible for increase calcium in bone so after menopause there is there is quick loss of calcium from the bones which causes osteoporosis now it's also called silent disease as bone loss never occurs with symptoms now let's understand that bones are made up of calcium phosphorus and proteins for calcium for making calcium enter into the bone vitamin d is required so in short vitamin d deficiency calcium deficiency protein deficiency all of them can lead to osteoporosis now let's see what are the risk factors related to osteoporosis there are two types of risk factors one that can be changed and another that cannot be changed so let's see the risk factors that can be changed number 1 frequent falls number 2 underweight if your bmi is less than 19 you are at a higher risk of getting osteoporosis number 3 getting enough sunlight if you are not getting enough sunlight you will have less amount of vitamin d which will make you more prone to develop osteoporosis physical activity if you are not doing physical activity your muscles and bones are not strong hence will make you more prone for this disease number 5 if you do not consume dairy food like milk yogurt cheese you can develop this disease because you are deficient of calcium now alcohol intake and smoking will also increase your risk of developing osteoporosis number 5 if you do not consume dairy food like milk yogurt cheese you can develop this disease because you are deficient of calcium now alcohol intake and smoking will also increase your risk of developing osteoporosis now let's move to risk factors which cannot be changed which are static and you cannot deal with it number 1 is your age more than 60 number 2 if your bones have broken after age 50 number 3 is height loss due to spine fractures number 4 parental history or family history number 5 low testosterone level number 6 early menopause number 7 period stopped more than 12 months and without any known cause like pregnancy or something number 8 ovaries are removed remember number 6 number 7 and number 8 are specific to females because of loss of estrogen hormone mostly Number nine is hyperthyroid or parathyroidism. Number ten, diabetes. Number eleven, rheumatoid arthritis. Number twelve, digestive diseases, which will reduce absorption of calcium or vitamin D or other proteins. 
Number 13 is long-term use of steroid. By long-term, which we mean more than three months of steroid used continuously. If you are liking information we are giving through our videos, please encourage us by hitting like button. Share it with more and more people so that they will get benefited out of it. If you have any question related to your health, feel free to put it on the comment box. We will answer it as soon as possible. And also, do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our upcoming videos. Now, how can we diagnose osteoporosis? So, there is a test called bone densiometry or which checks the bone density of the body. If it is less than minus 2.5, that means that osteoporosis is confirmed. You have osteoporosis which is mild to moderate. In that scenario, you will be taking certain medications, certain supplementations regarding vitamin D and calcium and you will be fine with some exercise and dietary changes. In your bone densiometry, if the value is less than minus 3.5, that means you have severe osteoporosis and you will require certain high category medications. Doctors will guide you regarding this. Apart from that, certain x-rays. So now let's see how can we prevent ourselves from developing this kind of condition. Number one is exercise. Weight bearing exercise, muscle strengthening exercise, balance training, all these can help you to make your bones stronger and to prevent osteoporosis. Number two, nutrition. You must include calcium rich food sources, vitamin D rich food sources, protein rich diet in your regular dietary habits. Sunlight exposure for about 10 to 15 minutes thrice a week specifically between 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. will increase your vitamin D levels. So by nutrition, by following nutrition supplements, you can improve the density of your bone. Third is your lifestyle. Maintain a healthy body weight, maintain a healthy BMI as we know that under being underweight or being overweight can make your bone uh, weak. Avoid smoking and drinking. Now the fourth is risk factors. Beware of the risk factors. If you have any of them, you have to inform your doctors immediately and consult them regularly. Keep following their instructions. That will help you to go. Number five is testing and treatment. If you have any of the risk factors, so if you fall into the high risk category, you need to keep testing your bone densiometry test or other tests which your doctors might suggest you and keep taking your medications, change your lifestyle, do whatever your doctors are telling you as per your instructions or whatever I have told you in this video to keep your bone stronger. So in today's video, we have understood what is osteoporosis, how can we prevent ourselves from this disease? And unfortunately, if we are suffering from disease or if we develop this disease in future, how can we treat it properly? Now in next video, we will share some important information regarding some other important disease or health condition. Till then, stay happy, stay safe at your place.